How do you make your cursor on macOS go from this basic one to pretty much any animated cursor of your choice? It's very easy and completely free to do, so let me show you how. First of all, open up your web browser and search for animated cursors. And then find this rwdesigner.com website and click on it. This website is essentially just a library of cursors, icons and things of that nature. So let's head over to gallery and cursors. I'm going to search for Minecraft. I'm going to grab this one, Minecraft Netherite cursors. And not all of them are animated, but you can find the ones that are animated. Once you have found your cursor, make sure that it's a .any file and click on it. And then hover over the image and right click and click on save image as. And then just save it as cursor. Then we can close this one and let's click on the PNG and you can see that it's a PNG sequence. There are multiple PNGs within this one and there are a total of 10 frames. You can have a maximum of only 24 frames, otherwise it's not going to work. You can have less than 24 frames, but not more than that. Just click on the frame and press delete and that will delete the frame. So let's just close it and then open up your web browser and then head over to this website. Once you're in as gif.com you just go to split and then drop in the png sequence and then just go ahead and click on split to frames and then press on download frames as zip once you have that downloaded head over to the downloads folder and there you should have it this one should contain all of your frames of that png sequence what we are going to have to do now is combine all of these frames together into an animation you can use any photo editing software for this but i'm gonna go for a free option and you can do the same i'm going to use pixlr or how it's spelled i don't know so once you're here you can open up pixlr editor and then click on create new. Let's name this one cursor. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. What we need to do is get the dimensions for our cursor. Click on your cursor image and then you can just head over to tools show inspector and then press on this y letter information what we need is pixel width for me it's 48 so let's type here 48 and then for the height you need to multiply width for the amount of frames that you have so for me it's 48 width times i have 10 frames so it's going to be 48 times 10 frames you just multiply those two numbers and then just click on create then once you're this far, you can open up the folder that has all of your split frames. And then you have to just take the frames one by one and drag into your photo editor. And you just start at the top and put the next one below this one in a way so that this green line shows up. That means they are perfectly close together. So I'm going to do the rest of them. And now you should have all of your frames looking like this, all of them stacked in this PNG. Then you can go down to this button here, which says save and then save as a PNG transparent save and it's going to download. Let's open up Finder. You should have this cursor PNG that you downloaded. Cursor animated. We now have the cursor set up and now we need the actual software that is going to allow us to do this. For this we need a program called Mousescape. But there's a problem. As of the time of recording this video, Mousescape has not been updated for macOS Tahoe, so it doesn't work properly. Luckily, there is a patched beta release which we can download that works just fine, but it's a fork of the original project. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. If you encounter any problems with running it, then there are a few commands that could fix it. Then once you have the application, you can just go ahead and drag it into applications folder and then open up Mousescape. There it is. Install. Now we should have it installed and yes, there it is. Apple could not verify Mousecape is free of malware. That message is completely fine. Let's open up system settings, go to privacy security and click on open anyway and type the password. Then once you're in the application, you can go ahead and click on file and new cape. Click on edit. Let's name it Minecraft cursor and then click on this plus sign right here and we can add our cursor now. For the cursor type, select arrow 
Then take all of your combined frames, the exported file, and put it in here. And in the frames section, set how many frames you have. I'm gonna set it to 10 because I had 10 frames. Then what we need to do is, if you look closely enough, there's a red dot right here. You need to center it to be in this kind of like a crosshair, or we need it in the middle. So you can just make it somewhat approximate, something like this. This looks fine for me. Now the red dot is in the middle. For the size you want both of these numbers to be the same. Otherwise it's gonna be really weird. And then frame duration. This is the animation speed. How fast do you want your animation to be? Let's set it to 0.5 or maybe something a bit slower. Okay, and then you just click on the red button, click on save, and there we have our cursor. In order to apply it, just click on it, or double click on it. As you can see, it does work for me. And I can just close this application, and I now have this custom Minecraft sword cursor, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's about all I had for this video.